All right, so um, I found this article on CD Baby, how to design an album cover that makes an impact. Um, and again, it's just it's a very basic, very straightforward article. It goes through um, basic elements of of album covers. You know, uh, the typeface, the illustrations and graphics, photographs you may use. It talks about you know, don't crowd, don't do this, don't do that. It talks about you know, hiring a graphic designer or using Adobe Photoshop or Canva, something that's more professional because obviously an album cover is a big deal. You want to put all the effort that you can into it. Um, I just think it's a cool article. Um, I, I don't know why. I'm not even going to try and venture, I guess, but even in the digital streaming kind of industry that the music industry has devolved into, um, Album covers are still a really big deal. I don't know if they make an impact, if they help sell albums like they may have once sitting there on the record store. Ooh, that one's pretty. But um, most artists still put a lot of effort into them. They're, even in the modern era, even in pop industries, there's some phenomenal album covers. You know, whether it's the simplistic, you know, admire it for that kind of art, or whether it's the complex, psychedelic, or twisting, metal -y kind of stuff, depending on the genre that you're in. Everybody still puts effort into album covers. Um, it's just kind of an element of the old world, but people still appreciate getting as many types of art as they can into this one venue. I suppose. I think it's cool. Don't know how it impacts the industry white on a more wider uh, lost the word. More wider. But I think it's cool.